Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about Jagged Arrays. One quick announcement though. When I usually record my tutorials, I have to unplug my extra monitor from my laptop because my microphone is attached to my laptop and the way my computer is set up with the extra monitor and the extra keyboard and the extra set of speakers does not allow me to record my voice very well with my laptop because of the distance between my mouth and the microphone so I usually have to unplug all that stuff now for some reason I've suddenly decided that it would be a good idea to use the headset that is usually sitting right on my desk in front of me to record my videos um, I think I tried it once before and decided that it was a bad idea because my voice was really loud but I forgot that whenever YouTube processes my videos after uploading them it always tends to drop my voice level my sound level by a significant amount and I just forgot about that and plus um, the microphone was turned up all the way and I sh should have turned it down to about halfway which is what I have it now so this video is not only just about jagged arrays but it is a test to see if my new microphone thing will be good so I'm gonna watch this video as soon as it's done being processed and if it sucks the sound sucks, then I'm just going to do something else. Um, anyways, Jagged Arrays. Um, I said in the past couple videos, and even on my website, I labeled it 2D Arrays. That's wrong. In C Sharp, 2D Arrays fall under or a different type of array than most people consider 2D Arrays who know Java or C++ or C or whatever. Um, any language, basically, I think Jagged Arrays is something that's totally distinctive to C Sharp, and um, it's a lot more powerful, a lot more, like, it's a lot more flexible, but at the same time, I think it's harder, to be totally honest with you. A lot of people don't get arrays the way it is, um, so hopefully learning Jagged Arrays is not going to be a nightmare for you. <clears throat> but um, jagged arrays and 2D arrays in other programming languages are basically the same thing. The way you declare one is almost identical. There's a little twist to it. But 2D arrays, in using the same name as you would use it in another language, is not the same thing in C sharp. If this is confusing you, like whatever. If you don't know any other programming languages, then great. But if you do, and what I'm saying is making no sense to you, you'll understand what I mean when I start doing it. So basically what I'm saying, a jagged array in C Sharp is almost exactly the same thing as a 2D array in other programming languages, and a 2D array in C Sharp is non-existent from what knowledge I have of other programming languages. It's like, I think this is actually, un the multi-dimensional arrays are unique to C Sharp. I think. So anyways, when you declare a 2D array, a jagged array, sorry, you have to use two sets of brackets, not just one, which is why a lot of people say it's a 2D array, because the 1D array uses one bracket, 2D uses two brackets. And it is 2D in the sense that the first array is just a 1D array, but the, oops, the second set of brackets is what tells you this is an array with an array and in, in another array in each individual element of the first array. If this is confusing, don't worry, I drew a picture. This is what it will look like. This top array here is your first array. This is the first set of brackets. Each array after that is the array in each element. So each of these arrays is actually an element. So instead of having like an int in this first one, it's an array of more ints so you can store more numbers. Um, whenever you call an element, specific element of an array, you always do rows first, then columns. A lot of people would probably think you do columns first because it's like, uh, it's the opposite of the Cartesian system. You don't do X first, you do Y first in programming languages. It's basically the same as graphics, except you're, First one is, it's like, it's doing Y and X. 
basically. Instead of x and y, it's y and x. Oops, that is the wrong thing. So, that's that. Now, the same, you do the same thing in other programming languages in C Sharp? Um, almost. Um, I'm going to make an array that's exactly identical to the array I just had in there. <clears throat> now I actually created this array down here, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste, because I love copy and paste. It will be your best friend. Okay. Now, uh, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Um, I went ahead and filled in these arrays. Okay, so the seven means that there are seven elements here, as you should know from learning 1D arrays. In each, there's see there's seven of these, and each of these has seven elements, zero through six. And I went ahead and made the numbers. Um, ah, uh, easy, easy on the eyes because the first digit in each one is the row and the second one is the column. Now I know this will not show up if I try to print it out and this would just show up as one. Why does it keep doing that? This would just show up as one but the way it is now it shows up fine. So this would be zero zero. So now if I wanted to print this out I'm going to do console.readlock Sorry, console dot. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Right line, and we'll do jagged array, and then choose which element you want. Let's do three, two. Now this should print out thirty-two because that's what I put in the element three, row three, column two. See, row three, column two. Let's see if that's what it does. The room build errors. Um, probably something to do with. The... Oh no, this is a problem. Visual Studio can start making the debug target is missing. Please build the project and let me try. Okay, let me try. Start debugging. Is there even a build button on here? I always just press the green arrow. Project. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay, hopefully this will work now. And it does. Okay. My problem was that when I copied this array from down here, I had still named it Jagged Array, and this one was Jagged Array, so copy and paste is not always your friend. So 32, it does print out 32 just like we wanted it to. Um, now, if you know another programming language like Java, it's already gotten a little bit different. It gets even more different from here. Not com more confusing, but more different. So, this does not always have to be what your array looks like. A jagged array can have different sized arrays in each set. So this one could stop right here. Right there. This one could stop right there if it wanted to. I could stop this one here if I wanted to. Not all of the arrays have to be exactly the same size, which is why in C Sharp you can't just declare an array new int 7 7 colon, you have to leave the second block blank so that you can declare the array with whatever size you want. So even if you do want them all to be the same size, you still have to declare them all individually. Now, I do believe that this, what I'm about to do, will work, but if it doesn't, don't get mad at me. Oh, it works you can do that. If you don't want to declare your elements from the start, you can just say new int 7, new int 7, 7 times. And that works fine. Then you'd have an, 
two, basically a 2D array, it's actually called the Jagged Array, let's just call it Jagged Array, from size 7, 7. Um, I think that's all um, on Jagged Arrays. Let me first go ahead and show you, let's see, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, okay, so 3, 2 is still there. I didn't delete it. You know, let me just control Z a couple times here. Okay. Um, jagged array. Uh, three, two. This is for if you want to change an element. It's basically the same way you change an element in the single array, but you just have to add on the extra set of brackets. You have to make sure you put a number in each bracket, otherwise it's going to think you want to change the whole row, and it won't let you do that. So let's go ahead and print it out again. Let's see, 32 and 57, because we changed it to 57 right here. So now we're good. I think this is all I wanted to cover. Let me check, let me check this here. That, mm-hmm. I actually wrote stuff on this list, my checklist, that doesn't work. And... Index numeration, printing on array elements. Out of range exceptions, same thing basically. Um, if I went in here and said 3, 8, it's not going to give me an error yet, I don't believe. And it will not. Out of range exception was unhandled. Again, you can't access a part of the array that doesn't exist. The array number 3, 1, 2, 3, does not have an eighth element. It only has seven. So you can't do this. It will not let you. So I'm pretty sure that this is all you need to know. Next time we're going to talk about multi-dimensional arrays and that is going to stay the same. Um, I honestly think multi-dimensional arrays are better than the jagged array. Now jagged arrays were more like regular 2D arrays from other programming languages then I would use the Jagged Array more, but the Jagged Array is a little iffy and confusing to me. Someone who has actually learned from the beginning using regular um, arrays, get rid of using regular arrays in Java and C++. I prefer the regular 2D array with the concrete style and specificity to it rather than the Jagged Array. Oh, and one more thing. You can change the size of a jagged array just like you can change the size of a 2D array. So now you can say new int 6, 0, not 0. You can't do that. And then take this and then scroll down. And then just delete one of these lines. And then you're good no errors because you can change the size of an array like I said it's not illegal you won't get called by the FBI for it you can change the size of a jagged array as well as a regular array um, multi-dimensional arrays are quite exciting in my opinion and I like them better so far <laughs> I might hate them once I start learning them and then in the next lesson after that, I might do arrays one more time and just do a quick little short thing on what it would look like if you combined the two different types of arrays because you can combine jagged arrays and multidimensional arrays. And that looks something like this. Let's get rid of that. And what you would do is you have the comma because um, commas are in multidimensional arrays and I really do like the way multi-dimensional arrays work a little better because you can put infinitely many commas in here and it's all correct you just gotta keep up with it um, I think the most you'd ever really do maybe with just a single multi-dimensional array like this one would be that or that probably the most anyways I'll talk to you about that next time um, jagged arrays it's basically the same thing as a 2D array in other programming languages, just with a different name. You can change the size of it, unlike in other programming languages. Um, you can have different sized arrays in each one, which is why you can't do this number where you just put 7 and then delete the rest of that after that.
Mm, sorry. Um, doing a lot of recap here. I should probably quit. Um, I'll upload this video as soon as possible. See you guys later.